one, I need you today to do some handwriting. We're going to learn to correctly form the oi sound. And we're going to write it in two different ways, with the OI and with the Y. We did it in spelling last term, so you should be very familiar with the sound. Now it's time to learn to write it correctly. Okay, but today we're going to start off with the date, which is the very first thing we're going to do. Um, if you have some lined paper, that is excellent. If you don't have lined paper, if you draw some lines on a piece of paper with a ruler, that would be best. Because when we're doing handwriting, it's really important to use those lines to guide where our letters fit. Okay, so pause the video for a second. Go find some nice lined paper. You can even Google um, lined paper and you might be able to print some off. Um, Mum or Dad might be able to help you. And you can start it when you're ready to go. You also need a nice sharp pencil. Okay. So today we're going to start off with the date, and today's Thursday, the 7th of October, 2021. So we're going to put that on the very first top line, and because Thursday is the name of the week, we need to make sure we use a capital letter. So we're going to start off with nice tall T, and we're going to start at the very top of the dotted line, going down and across. Oh, that one wasn't so great. Let's try again. Going and across. Okay, so then our T, our H is another tall one. So we're going to start the top dotted line, going down, up, and over. Can you see how the part that's the little arc is within the two tallest lines? Okay, it's very important that your um what your arc fits it's in between those two lines. So we've got T H we've got uh, uh, Day. And you can see when I'm forming these letters, most letters start at the top when we're forming them. We start at the top and work our way down. Okay, so we have our larger letters, the T, the H and the G, they're all touching the dotted line and then the solid line. And then we have our smaller letters, like our U, R, S and A, getting within the two um, solid lines. And then we have our Y, which is a special one. It goes all the way underneath and is touching this dotted line. They're all in segments. They've got sections. Okay, so it's Thursday the 7th. Now, 7 is like a capital letter. We have to do it nice and large, leaving a finger space first. The 7th, 7th. Another finger space, we're going to write October. October. And again, October is the name of the month, so we need to make sure that October is a capital letter. Okay, so it's Thursday, the 7th of October, and the year is 2021. Now, if you're running out of room, that's okay. Either go to a new line. Actually, no, it's probably best. Go to a new line if you're running out of space. I think I should have enough space left here. But it's always a good idea to have a think. Is there enough space? Do I need to go to a new line, or can I fit it in? Okay, because it's not nice when they're all really, really squished up for um, you've run out of space. Okay, so 20. one. Okay, oh, my, my zero is not really touching the line very good, is it? Handwriting isn't actually Mrs. Hogan's forte. So um, there's people much better at handwriting than me, but I try my best, and I want you to try your best as well. Okay, so we're going to do our first OI sounds now which we're going to make uh, the OI OI. So we're going to use our two solid lines because the, word, the sound OI is made of an O and an I, which are two small letters. So we're going to start here, starting at the top, going down clockwise, oh sorry, anti-clockwise, and the I start the top going down, and a dot. Now when we're doing our I, it's really important some people like to do this with their eyes. Nah, some people like to do this. I used to do that on my name when I was little. But when we're doing handwriting or doing our serious writing at school, it's always good to do the proper eye with the tiny small dot. Okay, you don't need a spot or a love heart. Not with that handwriting anyway. Okay, so I've written one oi. Now I'm going to leave a finger space. And I'm going to do another one starting at the top, going anti clockwise, back up, swing it up. Starting at the top of the line, going down, and nice dot. Can you see they're both the same size? And they're both going to be the same 
amount apart. Okay, it's really important to be consistent with our sizing and our spacing. Starting again, going down, up, and down. Stop. Now, up, down, stop. And I don't even need to put my finger there now. I can see with my eyes that it's got easy spacing. Zero, sorry, O, I. I want you to fill your whole line up with poise. Lots of great practice. And I can probably fit one more. Okay, now I'm going to look at all the beautiful oils I've done. I'm going to choose my favourite. Which one is the nicest size? Which one is the neatest? Uh, and all of mine. I'm going to put a smiley face just above it. I might even put a pink smiley face because pink is my favourite colour. Let me see. I think it might be my third one. I think it's this one. Put a nice little smiley face over top of your very favourite boy. Okay, the next sound we're going to do, or same sound, boy sound, but we're going to do it with an O and a Y. Okay, so we're again in between the two solid lines. However, this time we're going to be going down a little bit. Okay, and we're going to be touching the next solid line, which I don't actually like. Let me pause this and go on. And we're back again with some extra lines. All right, so we're going to start our next oi. Again, we know how to do the O because we practiced it lots at the top. We're going to use these lines here, starting at the top, going around, down, bringing it back up at the top, and this time we're doing a Y. So starting at the top, we're going to do the U shape on the two solid lines. So down, up, going back down again. This time we're going to go all the way down and touch the dotted lines at the bottom. Okay, so the U-bit sitting between the top line and the extra hook is down touching the dotted line. Okay, um, I'm going to lose another finger space and do another one. O and Y. Oh, can you see what I've done wrong here? I've got the difference between this Y and this Y. This is something we see a lot with your writing at school. Okay, this space here, we don't need that space, that's Jackie's space. Okay, you need to get rid of this space and have it nice and close like this. Okay, so I'm going to try again. I've got my O, got my Y. Oh, much better. Another thing we see you do sometimes at school is we will see you um, take your pen off. Okay, so I've got my O, and then with your Y, sometimes you might do this. Take your pencil off and then you're going to draw back. We don't want to do that. We need to have our pencil on the page the entire time in one movement. Okay, so let's try again. O and Y. Do you see how it's all one movement? And I've changed the directions on the board, so my letters are facing the wrong way, the right way. Let's O and Y. Try again. And one more. And one. Now I'm going to have a look at all my beautiful oils, and I'm going to choose my favourite one. I know it's definitely not this one, because this one has all that awful space in between. Uh, let me see. Hmm, I think it might even be my. Oh no, I think it's this one. I think this one's my favourite. I can see that's touching the line. Those two bits are touching the top line. The U shape is touching the bottom line. And my hook's nice and consistent. I think it's that one. That is my favourite today. Okay, now we've learned to form our sounds correctly. We're going to write a sentence using both the sounds that we've learned. And we're going to make sure that we're being consistent with our sentence and using our beautiful lines and our finger spaces. So our sentence today is going to be, the toy fell in the toilet, which a lot of you actually wrote for your silly sentences using those sounds. Thanks for the idea, guys. Okay, so the toy, we're going to start off with capital that because we are at the start of a sentence. Starting at 
the beginning, going down, putting the hat on, there, toys, so you feel finger space, Toy. Oh, that wasn't my best boy, was it? Uh, the toy bell. It's a smaller letter. F U U in it e D. Uh-oh, I'm running out of space. So I'm not going to write toilet really squishy and squishy in there because that looks yucky. I'm going to move down to our next line and I'm going to write toilet. Toy. Let's check it makes sense. The toy bell in the Toilet. Make sense? It sure does. Okay, we need to put a full stop right at the end. Now, if you notice, it's a little bit harder to write in a full sentence with handwriting. It's very easy to do the sounds, but when we have to put them into sentences, it gets a little bit difficult. And we have to concentrate on every single letter that we're forming. Okay, so don't rush this, just take your time. You can always pause the video whenever you need to pause it and take your time to form everything nice and correctly. Okay, and the very last thing we're going to do is, I always, at the end of handwriting, like to make little pictures out of my uh, letters that I'm doing that day. So our letters today were the O-I, so I've got the O and the I, and the I, and the O, and the I. And I'm actually going to make a big four. And I'm going to make a flower out of my eye. And then I'm going to put a little leaf on that eye. And then oh why? What can I make with oh why? We make that one an eyeball. And our why. I'm going to make our why little person. Maybe it's an animal of some sort. Isn't that cute? And if I was doing this on paper, I'd be colouring them in as well. So that's just a little fun extra activity that you can do at the end if you want to. Okay, we are looking forward to seeing all the handwriting you're submitting. And um, remember, we need to make sure we're keeping our letters nice and consistent with uh, sizing, doing our nice finger spaces, and making sure that we know whether it's a tall letter, a small letter, or just an underground letter. Okay, have fun.